I always did say last year that, uh, well, I always did say last year, I can't make a joke with this. Hello everyone, my name is Bokusatsu, and welcome to my tutorial review for today. And today's video is going to be, oh, my bad. Today's video is going to be on the SA Figure Arts Kamen Rider Revy from Kamen Rider Revise. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. I had this figure since last year, for the record. And, uh, I was supposed to do a video on it. Never got the chance to do it, unfortunately. Cause, well, I was, t I was too lazy. And a lot of people already did, uh, and a lot of people already did their reviews on these figures. And I, and I, well, I can't want to say it because it's so dumb. I didn't want to copy them. But, uh, I have a backlog of figures I haven't done videos on last year. So, I'm on... So my goal for this year is to do like every review on them from pre-order to like figures I bought off Ami Ami and Mandarake and off well, other stores too. So yeah. And well Revy, the first one. So you, oh, fuck. oh crap, okay. That's just that just happened. So yeah, Revy. Iki Igashi, everyone's favorite about Bus Boy. He isn't a Bus Boy, but he is one of my eyes. We are in everyone, everyone, everyone who already knows me know that know that I'm not the biggest fan of Revice. But uh, this figure right here, he's pretty decent. I have my issues with him, and I'll get on to them very soon. So okay, let's let's, let's begin, shall we? Color the coloring issue. This is the colors. Well, this. Pink and blue and purple, the exact same color that Iki had in the show. I will say, I love how yet this blue is more metallic like. How yet in the actual show, that blue is like a glitter slash stale blue, if, that, if that's possible for me to say. But yeah, I love this metallic blue right here. It reminds me of Dragon Kruger metallic blue, but to be fair, oh, to, my bad. Oh, hold on. Sorry about that. But to be fair, that to be fair, that blue is more well dark blue metallic. This is somewhat light blue metallic, but you see what I'm trying to say here. But still. So how's the articulation, Broku? Well, this is how far his arms go up. And yet, yeah, that's an issue. You see, Vice's figure doesn't do this. Vice's figure arms go 100% up. Revy's are limited due to the shoulder pads. Now, I know there's a mod that you can do. Fuck. Why do you keep dropping? I say, uh, I know that there's a mod you can do with the figure to modify one of these shoulder pads to, to make his arms go fully up, but I'm not gonna risk that. I'm not gonna risk that. I'm not gonna do that to my figure. I don't, I don't want to damage it. But yeah, this is yeah, this is how far Revy Revy goes. It's annoying, yes, but this is how far he goes. So how how articulation, Boku? Well. This is oh this is how far he goes from back to four to left to here to here. He's limited due to the belt. Just keep that in mind. He's limited due to the belt right here. And this, this is how far his arms go. Oh, arm, his knees go. You can hear a lot of squeaking. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's one of my biggest gripe with this figure. Uh, my copy Uh My copy I haven't touched my copy all that much. Mostly do mostly do because the show really the show really made me stop caring for the for this figure. Wait, how is that impossible? Trust me, I don't, not the first time, but uh, yeah. 
But yeah, we vice we vice did. But yeah, Revice really did make me stop caring for the show. And yeah, that had to broke my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the squeaking is really annoying to figure. So if you have like some type of oil, I recommend using it to take care of squeaking because that's the, only, that's the only way to do it. Just don't put too much. I honestly don't know. I honestly never did before because, well, again, I don't trust myself with oil but uh i'm gonna say use some type of oil material to make this squeaking stop on this figure so can he pose yes he actually can pose you'll see in the pictures too why okay yeah okay that's just that one this time <laughs> he feel he feel like he's in the black sun pose. <laughs> Hold on, let's let's do this, shall we? Bun done. Say Henshin Natsuki. Natsuki. Right. All right, let's go to uh, accessories. Oh boy, we have a, we don't. No, the only time we have is no weapons. Mostly because you gotta go buy his second half vice for the weapon. I know it's stupid, but to be fair, we have a non premium Bandai because, well, you have to go buy all the other Revice figures for the other vice stamps. Even though I have Evil and Demons, I have Aguilera on pre order and she, and she should be here this week, but still, no, I did not pre order Gene. Why? I did not care for Gene. I'm sorry, I just really don't care for it. I just really don't care for that character. All right, so. Here we have his, uh, well, his open palm hand. God! <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here, here we have his open palm. Oh, right there. Here we have his open palm hands. Oh, damn it, what the hell? Oh, here yeah. Here we have his relaxation hands. Here we have his weapon holding hands. And here we have his hands that he can hold his vice stamp for. So yeah. If I ever gotta ask me, is this figure like Premier Bandai or anything? No, he's a retail release. You can buy him off Tokyo Collectibles, Amazon, Big Bad Toys, or any store in the U.S. And, pe and people and people who are like, and for those who aren't in the U.S., I don't. I'm gonna guess that uh, he's available pretty cheap at at your local like at at, at, at like what I'm gonna say your local like comic book store. Comic book store, okay, next one. Your local, like, uh, figure store. Wait, wait, fuck. You know what I'm trying to say. I can't speak for people outside of the U.S. I'm sorry. Why is this so annoying to put on? I should have God. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, now on the size comparison. 
So here he is with, well, can I say, well, that's not, I'll, I'll save that one for last. I'll save this guy for last. Here he is with the S.A. Figar Senkoku Seihar Zoronos. Here he is with the S.A. Figar Venom. Oh God, Venom. You can't see this guy's head, but uh, it's massive. That's for sure. Do do do, Ginga man. Here he here with the SA figures coming a demon. And here he is with the SA figure uh superhero Gohan. I will do a I will do a review on this figure, by the way. Just, well, just FYI, that will happen. So yeah. Here he is with the SA figures come on advice. I my neck leg figure review is probably gonna be on Vice. Since I since, I, since I'm doing Revy now, might as well do the other half because to be honest, you Vice is the better figure between the two of them. And here he is with SA figures come on evil. Oop, yes. much better. Right. Here he is with the Lightning Collection Beast Morph for Yellow. And here he is with the SA Figures Dolma Otaros because, well, Superhero Time 2022, baby. And honestly, yeah, damn. Uh, yeah, uh, he scaled pretty well. Ooh, ooh, my bad. Well, to be fair, I, I know that he's very, sh I know that Beast Morphe is very shorter, but still. But overall, if you have this figure, if you have like, if you have this figure, if you want it, well, I recommend it. It's a good figure. It is limited for articulation, yes, but at the same time. I will say this, be careful with, with the freaking, uh, be careful with the vice stamps. They're pretty, they're pretty, uh, well, they can't be, they can't be replaced. This is, uh, well, this is my only copy of the figure, so there's also that too. If you have more than one copy, you're good, but if you have one copy, be careful with, be careful with the vice stamps. So, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that's this video. I think for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and follow my social media, all of them. And then, yeah, guys, we're trying to hit 1,000 subs this year. We you guys help. We can accomplish that. My name's Broke, and I'm, well, I'm out. Have a good day. Have a nice day. My bad. Bye.